I turn each of these lights off in the night and put them back on every morning. Shamim Hussein is a widow and has relied on family handouts to look after her three children. But recently she was trained as a Roshna Bibi or light lady to take charge of a new solar station in her village in southern Punjab. I feel good that I don't have to ask for money anymore and I can meet my own expenses. Pakistan is in the midst of a major energy crisis with long blackouts of 8 to 12 hours a day, even more in remote areas. Shamim's village is one of around 50,000 that are off the national electricity grid. An innovative new project is training women like her to rent out solar lanterns which replace 600 litres of polluting kerosene fuel. The life of the village has really improved. Before we ran out of oil and batteries. During childbirth too we were in desperate need of light. But we now have this essential resource. It's estimated there are 35% of people in Pakistan who are still completely without electricity. But it's this situation that's opening up real opportunities for investment into greener and more sustainable sources of energy. Whilst solar lamps are not the same as continuous power, they are still having a profound impact on farmers like Mohammed Rakib. We had to use small torches and the light from our mobile phones at night, but it's very useful to use the solar lamps outside on our land now as they save us from being bitten by scorpions and snakes. Hundreds of miles away, Fisa Ferhan is planning the expansion of her solar lanterns initiative to reach one million Pakistanis. She believes clean energy can transform the country's future. We are an extremely resourceful country and if we shift our perspective from the conventional energy generation to renewable energy generation, we can not only become energy self-reliant, but we can become an exporter of energy in the coming years. The government of Pakistan says it's serious about using green energy and the Prime Minister even suggested an end to the crisis by 2018. But for Shamim and her family, this promise does not come soon enough. And for now, the solar lamps provide their only relief from the darkness. <laughs>